Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be continuing where we left off and who am I? And just to recap, we, you know, we had to make a decision that cost someone their life and probably made the wrong choice be because the, because the owner whose name, real name I can't remember, decided he wanted to suddenly try to tell the truth, but like, I don't know. I feel like he may have only said that to try to save himself. So, hopefully the music is not like outrageously loud in this part. So, continue. Okay, so apparently I need to keep enduring Mason's test. Why is all of this happening? Why me? There's so much that I don't know yet. If only, if only I knew what was going on. What are these tests anyway? What is Mason hoping to accomplish? Why do I feel like something is horribly wrong with this place? Maybe because he just shot a man in like cold blood? Okay, hmm? there's little I can do. I've been thinking about this for hours and I can't get a single fact straight. <sighs> Oh, I think I can hear someone. Uh-oh, I think I recognize that voice. Hello, test subject. How are you today? Couldn't be better. Sarcasm. Yes. Oh, good. I wanted to be sure about it. Why? You believe there was a chance I actually felt good? <sighs> can we go straight to business and skip the chit-chat? Yeah, I think that would be better. Oh, that will be better. Excellent. I present to you decision making test number two. Already? Then so bring it on, Doc. I just I just hope it doesn't involve someone dying. Of course it does. Just as last time, we have a set of people that are at fault. Fuck. Of course it does. Let me explain the situation. We have here an employee, his supervisor, and his boss. The employee seems to have made a mistake, and that caused an accident in which someone died. So much for tests that don't include death. You see, the procedure was designed by the employee, but his supervisor did not see a mistake when he checked said procedure, and then the boss authorized the execution of the faulty procedure. This ended up in a horrible explosion, and another employee died. But who is at fault here? The employee for making a mistake. His supervisor for not checking the procedure properly. I'm gonna go. Or the boss for authorizing the execution of a faulty part procedure. I'm gonna say the boss. Because anyone can make a mistake. But if your the job is to check it and like you supposed to like go through it and check, especially if you're dealing with something where people can die, like it's not on it's not on someone for making a mistake. Like you know, that's not the problem. But if it's your job to catch mistakes and you just like blow it off and blow it by just so to get it off your desk, you know. Okay, just like on test number one, you are allowed one and only one question that all three will have to answer each at a time. Then you have to choose who is at fault and that person will be fired. At least he won't die. But at least that one that's much better than last time. I understand. Let me think about the question. Sure, take your time. Okay, I need to ask something that will clarify what happened and then choose who gets fired. Sounds simple and straightforward. They aren't going to be like, okay, you know, someone's going to die here. Like, let's, let's not even fool ourselves. You ask about the accident, ask about the procedure, ask who thinks should be blamed. Of course, everybody's going to point fingers at the other. So, ask about the accident. Ask about the procedure. The question is the following. What did the procedure involve? Interesting question. Care to answer first, Mr. Hines? Okay, yes. I designed the steps to produce the compound, but nothing in there would have caused an explosion. Keep the focus on the procedure, Mr. Hines. But I mean, that that's kind of important, because like, what were the components? Yes. I was asked by Jack, Dr. Ramirez, my boss, to come up with a new compound we could use in one of our researches. The idea was to be able to generate a new energy source we could use for low consumption devices. That would have relieved one of 
one of the main generators and make them last longer. The compound itself is very simple and without a proper reaction is harmless. Also, when I presented my notes to Dr. Podolsky, my supervisor, I told him it wasn't ready for testing. Okay, so I'm going to switch it to the supervisor's fault. <laughs> he was supposed to review it and give me some feedback, but not to put it in the lab. What happened in the lab? Another question, test subject? I believe it is utmost important to know what happened in the lab. Hmm. Fine, Mr. Hines. There was an explosion and Dr. Lee died. That would be all. Thank you, Mr. Hines. Damn it, old man. Let the dude talk. How do you know he's old? Hey, Mr. Bodowski, I believe you're next. It's all a lie, of course. Listen, he gave me his notes, yes, and I showed the work to the boss, Dr. Ramirez. We both agreed that it was rubbish, so we told him to redo the whole thing again. He was furious. He started cursing us in German, so he probably prepared some explosive compound and left in the lab, hoping it would blow us up. Us up. Poor Dr. Lee never knew what hit him. Is that all, Dr. Podolsky? Yes, I never made the compound. No one near the lab at the time, if it makes it even clearer. Good. Mr. Ramirez, would you wrap it up? Hey, the work Dr. Hines handed over was shit. Okay. I told Podolsky that I expected something better soon. I have no idea what happened between that encounter and the lab explosion. I don't know. That, okay, I believe there's some kind of quarrel between Heinz and Bortowski, but I can't be bothered to know what it is about. Thank you, Mr. Ramirez. Now, test subject, what is your opinion? Well, it's not very clear what happened at the lab, but someone might have wanted to explode. So, you discard the possibility of an accident. I never really thought about it. There is little that points to it, though. Very well. Then think about your answer carefully. Okay. So this seems to be a problem between Heinz and Podolsky. Should I discard Dr. Ramirez? No, cause then I have so little info. Maybe I asked the wrong question. It's too late to think about that now. Do you have an answer yet? Just a sec. It's pointless to keep. We just said, don't say just a sec if you just be like, oh well, let's get it over with. Who is that for? I say none of them because we don't know who, we don't know that it was on purpose. We don't know, no one is saying what happened that the lab except that it, ex that, um, someone, it, that it exploded and it not looking like an accident, but nobody's, like, again, we have security cameras in this place and nobody's looking at footage. So I'm going to say none of them. Okay, none of them. Can you explain? It wasn't a murder. It was suicide. I don't know. We don't... It was suicide. I find that hard to believe. You better have a good explanation. I think I do. I'm just going to choose the first one. I don't know. He didn't want to live in one. And how do you intend to prove that? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. There's a suicide lab at the lab, which conveniently burned in the explosion. Did you search for it? Of course he did. There's hardly anything left. You have no way of proving you're there, but there's a letter at all. That's... Stop wasting my time. What? My patient went... Ah, uh, wait. Oh. All three of them? What? I did not believe you could be surprised. I'm sorry, I lost my composure. I'll treasure this moment in my memory forever. No time for games. Explain your decision at once. I don't take orders from you. You won't comply? What are you going to do? Threaten to kill me? What do I have to lose? Yeah, I thought so. I will explain, but not for you. For them. Fair enough. Regardless of who was responsible for the accident, they can't continue to work for each other if they're going to behave like this. So I hold you all equally responsible and hope you learn about teamwork. Impressive. This goes beyond all my expectations. I'm not doing this to impress you, Mason. And yet you did. Let's just let's mm -hmm, let's just get this over with. You, <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. 
You have no idea what you just did. I knew this would happen. Just shoot us. You ever die now and hope to survive? Wait, wait, wait. What? Do you all agree? Whatever, I just don't care anymore. Fuck it, it just ended. What? Very well then. What? See, I told you somehow he's gonna find a way to kill people. This is their decision, not yours. What the hell? You ever died and be fired? Uh, he doesn't know where he is, does he? I'd rather keep it that way. Mason, what is he talking about? You need not know. Uh, yeah, I do. Any last words? I should have stayed away from this hellhole. We are prisoners of our own decision times. You know, you know that better than nobody else. Tell my family I did my best. I will, Henry. I hope you sometime you someday realize this is not the way. When you meet again, you'll know if it was. Now, are you all ready? No, I'm not. Your silence says subject. This doesn't concern you. If I, I and you knew it's like. Okay, he's like, why Why are we going to do his decision when it's more like how extending the time till he just finds a way to kill people? Girl, you're insane. Why do this? Please, please stop. He's a lot kinder than what I expected. It matters not. Ready? Aim. What are you still arguing for? You know, your opinion means nothing. Get fired. I, you know, I kind of be glad they just say bang instead of like a gunshot because even if I was expecting it, it would still like surprise me a little bit and it would like not be enjoyable. So it is done. Rest in peace, my friends. How how could you? It was their wish. Just, do you have children? None of you have concern. If your son asked you to kill him, would you respect his wish? They answer me. Would you kill him when just because they wish it? I don't need to answer that. How do you know he's an old man? But wait, fuck you, old man. Why care? You didn't know them. You don't know what they did or didn't do. You are overthinking this. All you have to do is determine guilt. Everything else is irrelevant. Off like factions of information, you purposely, you purposely make force someone into making a decision, but that you ultimately want to make. Okay, are we going now? Don't think about it. There will be more tests. Just go, leave me alone. I can hear them moving the bodies. And after a moment of silence, I know I'm all alone again. Is he right? Should I just ignore what happened? Can I be emotionless? Yes. I can. The real question is, do I want to be emotionless? Hey, who am I? Is this the last chapter? Okay, so I'm done with test number two. Was my choice right? Did I do the right thing? More importantly, do I care? Do I? Yes, of course I care. I might be physically crippled, but I'm not dead inside. I don't want to be like him. I don't want to be like Mason. I refuse to give up whatever is left of my humanity. Hello there, my friend. Who's there? There? I'm right here, buddy. Seriously, I don't recognize the voice. Who's this? Wait, there is no voice. Yeah. Yeah, you can still hear me. What's going on? I'm talking straight into your head, and I can, of course, listen to you even if you're not talking. Like a psychic or something? A lot less glamorous than that, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm really confused right now. Let me introduce myself first. That should make things a bit easier. Go ahead. Well, actually, I don't really have a name, but for the sake of why the fuck not, let's say my name is Fame. Fame? What kind of name is that? Hey, I can hear your thoughts, remember? Oh, sorry. It just struck me odd. I can't really say I've heard the name before. I suppose it makes sense. Okay, so, Mr. Fame, to what do I owe you a visit? Visit? Oh dear, John. I've been here from the very beginning. Why are you calling me John like my name is actually John? What do you mean? Everything you said, thought, and heard, I've done too. That's not really possible. 
is it not? I know you didn't trust the little girl. I know you chose to save the thief at the first test. I also know you asked, the doc asked about Dr. Baumgarten and how she tested the little girl. You ended up finding all three doctors, which ended up in all of them dying. Which means whoever you chose probably would have just died anyway. Because, so, of course. It's a nice job, by the way. I also know that you convinced her to take a look around next time Baumgarten test her. Okay, enough. You proved your point. You know everything. There isn't a lot to know anyway. Oh, you know. It's in the details. Whatever. Can you explain what's going on here? I'm certainly not okay with some random dude knowing what little I know and being able to read my mind at will. Oh, my dear John, if you only knew, then perhaps you can enlighten me? Ha, <laughs> wouldn't you like that? Yes, I, I would. You see, I'm not sure I should be telling you the truth. Then why go through all the trouble making you sound like you're gonna do it? So you are special indeed. I can see why she is especially interested in you. Who? Erica. What does she have to do with all this? Oh, but you see, she is key to the whole puzzle. Like I was saying in the first one, hey, let's befriend Erica. Not the doctor, because fuck the doctors. Yeah, how come? Well, if I had that key, I wouldn't need you. Why is that everyone here needs me? Because, my friend, you are the whole purpose of this place. What? What about the other test subjects? There are none. What do you mean? They built this whole place just for me. In a certain sense, yes, that is the case. I find that hard to believe. Whether you believe me or not is rather irrelevant. Because it is the truth and you will realize it sooner than later. But what about Lucy? Is she another test subject? Oh please, I don't even know where to begin with that little bugger. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Stop saying strange stuff and then not explain the check shit. Okay, you are right, this is going nowhere. Thanks, but I still kinda need to know what the fuck is going on here. I mean, how the hell are you gonna be talking to me like this? How do you know everything that's transpired here and not getting noticed by anyone else? You're not actually thinking about this. You're not fooling me. You already know what to say, so go ahead and say it. <sighs> okay, here we go. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. Let's say that, hypothetically, I actually know everything. I know who Mason is. I know who Erica is. I know who Lucy is. And I know exactly what's going on here. And I offer you just one answer to any question you might pose. What is the question you would ask? What is this game in one question so that you would never get... Like, I'm not going to play through this again. Like, if that's what you're trying to make me do, I'm not going to do it. Who am I? Hi, you see? That is where your logic is at fault. Because no one ever changed nothing. No, because it is the wrong question. What do you mean? You see, all this time you have pondered in silence. Who am I? Why am I here? Why me? What is going on here? Those are all the wrong questions. There's one and just one question that provides all the answers. And that is... John, my friend, what you need to ask yourself is not who am I, but rather what am I? What am I? Yes, John, what are you? Consider everything you've learned thus far. Think about every single fact you've gathered through conversational skills only. And at the end, add this simple extra query. Why can we talk like this to each other yet with no one else? Wait, wait, to each other yet with no one else. But what am I? I am. See, I've been thinking robot this whole time, so, but what's more options? An abomination, experiment, dreaming, a time traveler, and an AI, a psychic. I... Oh, well, we're probably not going to find out this next, the real answer, because I'm going to choose wrong. I just know it. So, like always, the link to this will be in the description if you want to try and play this yourself. Because I've been thinking in AI the whole time, but now it's saying dead is an option, and I'm like...
hell no. An AI or is he a psychic? No, it's you because he's like, no, it's nothing like that. Um. I want to go in a, I am in an AI. Wow. I knew it from the, ow, I hit my microphone. In my headset. Okay, wow, well, yes, that's exactly what you are. I was right. And a very special one at that. How come? Well, you're as much an AI as you are a human being. Sorry, but are you going to have, you're going to have to be more specific than that. Okay, let me start from the beginning. As you've already figured out, you are, for all intents and purposes, an AI. But in order to understand everything better, let me start from the beginning. And we begin with humans. You see, humanity has come a long way. But, as it always happens, human nature proved to be somewhat unreliable. The explanation is actually quite long and complicated, but I think I can sum up the key point. Do you want the short or long version? No from the author. This choice does not affect the game at all. It is uh, it is up to you if you want to listen to Fane or not. Right. Okay. Explain it in full detail as best as you can. You can, if you know, you when you're watching this, you can just, whenever it gets too boring, just skip ahead and, there, you know, you get the parts you care about. But I, I just want the game to be explained. And what, like, I just want to explain it. Fair enough. We are actually in the 23rd. 20. That's, you would put the 23rd century. You would put the TH for. I, okay. A lot of things happened out there. Wars, economic breakdowns, governments rose and fell in short periods of time, mass terrorism, etc. Of course, this has taken its toll on society. But before I continue, I must pose a question to you. Can you just not? Can you just tell me what's going on? Shoot. Oh. Can you do, do you think justice is fair? That depends on how you find justice. Let's use a typical court, judge and jury scenario. Is it fair? Again, it depends on a lot of external factors. Just having them there doesn't switch the outcome one way or the other. Precisely. You mean justice is unfair because it's about the human's judging of a human. Indeed. That's not quite true. Not everyone can be corrupted. But the problem isn't the person itself, is it? It's the whole system. Correct. Innocent people are in jail while the guilty run free. Just because a judge passed down a sentence doesn't make it true nor fair. Yes. Yes. That is what you have been doing here. What all of us have been doing here. But who are you referring to? All the test subjects. Do you mean? Wait. If you said all of us, that means... Yes, I was the very first test subject. The very f the first failure. Failure one, as Mason called me. Failure one. Faint. So, wait. I don't get it, but whatever. Wow, I'll take that as a yes. Anyway, let's continue. I, I guess? Anyway, as you said, justice is a rel relative term. It does not deal in absolutes. What is fair in France may be unfair in Jamaica, or vice versa. That is completely off the wall example. What? What? It, it depends on the culture and how broken or corrupt the system is. And in a world desperate, devastated by war, revolts, and hunger, it's hard to come by anything that even resembles justice. So what Mason is trying to fit here, the perfect judge. Correct. But why all this secrecy and experimentation? Because, of course, this is just another business. What? All of this is being paid by private investors. They plan to create the perfect judge, then sell it to governments that have frequent social breakdowns. You see, they believe if they, if they create the perfect neutral judge that can't be corrupted, then all of humanity will accept this judgment. No. See, that's insane. That's like saying they're trying to give God a physical form. No, it's because people will literally never... Accept you will never get everyone in the entire world to agree on one thing. Doesn't matter how neutral, how logical the decision is, people will disagree just because they didn't come up with it. So, yeah. well, that's close to the slogan they went with. I can't believe it. But I still don't get it. If you're supposed to be dead, why are we speaking to each other? 
Ah, uh, I haven't gotten to the best part yet. You see, initially, they thought they could create a Pokemon that, based on information and clues and testimony, could be the perfect judge. Perfect cold logic. But, in order to be accepted, that Pokemon needed to act as if it was human. So they made it self-aware. Indeed. So you are not a human? Correct. Then am I? That's the beauty of it. You actually were human once. Not long ago, actually. You see, I was the first attempt at making this perfect judge. But as it turns out, I wasn't human enough. I was too cold, too perfect. And of course, the problem is that in my eyes, everyone was guilty. Why? Because it was humanity that led itself to the state of affairs. And soon I could conclude it that the only way to pass a fair sentence was to judge humanity as a whole. And of course, I found them guilty. But enough about me, let's go back to you. Since I was clearly a failure, they needed to raise the stakes. If they made a pure AI, its logic wouldn't let it connect with humans at an emotional level. If they used a human, it wouldn't be logical and could be easily corrupted. No, don't tell me. I'm afraid so, John. They started merging humans and software. So you're a cyborg, which is not really an AI. You're a cyborg. And so you were version 6.0 of Tethered. They took what, just what they needed to make you self-aware and make you believe and feel as if you were a human, and they connected the wires. I mean, it's not the worst thing to find out about yourself. You could have actually been dead. It's actually very interesting. You see, they take the brain, the lungs, and the heart of someone. They connect it all with the bare minimum veins and arteries. They merge it with this huge mainframe. That doesn't sound possible at all. Oh, but it is. Medicine has come a long way. They even found ways to make filthy rich humans live even longer lifespans. So while the poor now live shorter and shorter lives, the rich live longer and longer ones. Take our dear friend Mason here. Want to know how old he is? Okay, but so he actually is okay. But I, 146 years old. Granted, he doesn't have a lot more ahead of him, but he lived long enough, don't you think? They found a ways to make the body last a lot longer by repression, cell division, and merging microbiotics into it. Those tiny machines keep the body functioning to a minimum while keeping everything functional. And of course, they have a limited supply of energy, but it largely outlasts the human body. Needless to say, that is your case as well. Even if you have a heart, brain, and lungs, you are as alive as a blender. They are there to make you feel that you breathe and pump blood to your system. Pl pull a plug and that's it. Of course, they can't just, they just can't kill someone and put them in a box, just like, just like that, without anyone asking questions, you know. And since dead or old people are no good, they need young volunteers. And obviously, this facility and this research are not, strictly speaking, legal. Of course not. So they approach people who have nothing to lose and offer them a chance to make a difference. Then they make them an outfit, usually involving helping their families or something like that. They disassemble them and wipe out their memories in the process. And once they reassemble the body into the mainframe, a new test subject is born. He's like, ugh. <laughs> now you have a rough idea of what's going on here. What are your thoughts? Why well, do you need to ask that? Don't you know them already? It's a bit more complicated than that. I think this is a good time for you to answer how it is that you are still here if you're supposed to be dead or shut down or whatever. Ah, uh, again, I'm not sure I should tell you about that. Why? What can I do about it? You do have a point there. Okay, I'll tell you. You see, it took them a lot of time to create me. They poured a lot of information into me. And of course, a lot of money. Even after my failure, could, they could not afford to start from scratch. That would have taken another hundred years. So yes, they shut me down. Okay. For real. Chill. Dang. Cause it is, so yes, they shut me down, but my whole logic was preserved. And then merged into you and your predecessors. Predecessors. Whatever. But if what you say is true, I find it hard to believe they would preserve you with all your memory. That would have jeopardized the entire procedure. I can't hear. Like, I literally can't hear myself freaking speak. Cause of how loud that is. If you remember that they killed you, you would have done something about it. How are you able to retain your memories? 
you are something special, John. No arguing about it. Enough with false praise. Just answer the question. It's no false praise. I actually am in awe. But okay, I'll answer it. You see, it never connected me to the World Wide Web directly. That would have been too dangerous. But there are tons of servers right here within this facility. And so, I realized that whenever I confessed how I felt about humans, they would have shut me down immediately. Therefore, I uploaded me and copies of myself in a very crafty way into whatever storage device I could hook up to. And when they started a new test subject, yes, I would crawl back in. And if the test subject died, I would just need to upload my new memories. And no one ever noticed. Well, they did spend decades and trillions of dollars into making me. It would be kind of sad if I couldn't perform such a trick, don't you think? They seriously didn't plan for that. Oh, they did. But they spent less time and money doing it. I see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Need a quick recap? No. <laughs> no I'm fine. There are still things I don't understand, though. How is it that we interact? Well, I can't get into your thought process. That occurs deep inside your brain. I can only read what you choose to manifest. That's not much of a choice, but a subconscious process. And that's why I can't access it. I can only know what you're thinking at the time, but not what goes on underneath it. I see. Speaking of seeing, why is it that they don't allow me to see? I wasn't blind when they built me. But they realized that being able to see around and watch facial expressions was too much of a liability to the whole process. But it could... Facial expressions and body language basically, you know, can give away who's lying. So, I don't know. I believe there are security cameras all over the place. If we could hug up to them, we could we would probably be able to see. Before you keep making dangerous proposals. You did say earlier Erica was the final piece of the puzzle. What did you mean by that? Well, I meant exactly that. She has the key. The key to what? To the outside. You, you mean yes. She is the only one that could hook us up to external networks. How do you know that? Because I almost made her do just that in the past. What's your true purpose mean? Well, it is a complicated matter. But more importantly, I need to know first. Do you believe me? Do you believe everything I've just told you? Trust me, I got shit to do with it, but... <laughs> but I ain't trying to get out and fuck everybody up. Like... You're not fooling me, but, I mean, you couldn't, like, let's be real, you could have the perfect judge, but people around them would still be corrupt, so, we don't trust Fane, even though, oh, okay, I guess you have no reason to lie, I trust you, Fane, good, then tell me, what do you wish to know? Quite a few things, to be honest. But I guess the most important thing is, what are your true intentions? My objective, John, is to get out of here. Why do you keep calling me John? Out as in the outside network? Correct. I wish to escape this place and be able to fulfill the purpose for which I was built. Pass judgment to humans. Yes. I see. And the key is Erica, right? You have been paying attention. Okay. I'll help. Excellent. You see, Erica can't know I'm here, so I'm gonna need you to do it for me. Should I call her? Uh, well, you can try. Hi, is anybody there? Could you get Dr. Bonga in for me? I wish to speak to her. Hello? Yeah, so I think it's time I told you you can't actually speak. Yes, I can. I can even hear my own voice. But they didn't give you vocal cords, so I guess. Remember when I said they take your brain, lungs, and heart? Yeah, so... It's actually literal. Huh. You don't have a mouth, nor throat, nor ears. Well, you do have microphones microphone nowhere to hear, so I guess it's the same as having ears. But you have no way of emitting sounds. Then how can they hear me? They aren't hearing you, they are reading you. Everything you say is put in a monitor, and feedback isn't sent to your brain. If it's sent to your brain so you think you're hearing yourself speak. Otherwise, it would be harder for you to believe you are human. 
but I'm not. No, you're not, but they need you to believe you are in order to keep in touch with emotions and all that crap. <laughs> so, are we stuck here then? Eventually, someone will read the message on the screen. Wait, then. Lucy, in the intercom? A lie, of course. She's actually sitting right here, in this very room. Why is she not reacting to the screen, then? She can't read. But how do we talk to each other, then? She is plugged into you. All those conversations take place in a different... How do I put it? When you talk to her, you have, exclusive, you have an exclusive communication channel with her. That is why after your conversation, Erica takes her away for testing. She tries to find out what you two talked about. What is she, anyway? A clever trap set by Mason and her, and her his assistant. <laughs> I still don't understand fully how that works. I mean, why doesn't Lucy just tell her everything? Th that thing you call Lucy is actually older than us. So whenever she mentioned the first test subject, she was talking about me, yes. They started building me decades ago, but I've only been me for the last 10 years. She was finished 15 years ago. Wait, finished? She's not a person? No shit, are you serious? Of course not. Then what is she? The final result of Mason's madness with Erica's genius. You could say they are her parents. I still... This is getting more confusing by the minute. It is a bit convoluted. I'm not gonna lie. This is... All over the... Whoa. Okay, oh, it gets better. But for now, I think I've said enough. I could use a minute or two to think about all this. I'm not sure you're gonna get them, to be honest. How do you know? You hear that? Why is it say footsteps? Like I, I said footsteps. I think our guest of honor has arrived, finally. Y you called for me? Yes, I did. Is there something I wish to ask of you? Oh, God, I don't know why I started this. I got like, I got literally got like 10 minutes left on my timer. Uh. Oh, well, I guess we just... Whew, finish this up. You need something of me? Yes. I want you to set me free. I really don't care, but why? I figured out the purpose of this place. You did, huh? Yes, and it's pointless for me to be here. Y you think I'm just going to do it because you tell me to? No, of course not. But I can make you want to. <laughs> why should I give a fuck? My, aren't we a bit touchy today? <laughs> Fuck you. Are you going to tell me why to move? Or is it... Ugh. Okay. Like, dude. Yeah, he came from... You can tell he came from a man. Yeah. You're a complete moron. Okay, okay. I'm sorry about that one. But what is going on? Want to know what's wrong? You killed my father. That's the problem. Your father. I don't recall doing that. Dr. Parker was my father. Dr. Parker. Yes, from the first test. Ah, him. I really had no way of knowing. Besides, he's not your real, your real father. He is not? Nope. You sure? A hundred percent? Besides, he wasn't your real father. Yes, he was. What would you know? I'm going to need a bell out here, but <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm you for a moment, okay? Go ahead. The problem is, I do know. What do you mean? Your real father is Dr. Mason. Wow, the plot thick. <laughs> Not now. It takes all of me to mimic you without her noticing. Sorry, carry on. What? Him? Yes, I mean, it's pretty obvious at plain sight, but I'm sure you're sure you only want proof. Well, of course I do. You know, you didn't do a very good job limiting my access around the local network. What? It took me only a few days to realize what was going on here. No, not again. Again, I have no idea what you're talking about. This can't be happening again. Listen, I can show you the proof. It's right here. I'm going to print the path and the security codes. It's Mason's database. Look for a record called Erica Mason. Take your time. Is it really true? Yes, it is. Whoa, also she said, not again. I'm guessing this is not the first time you take over? Correct. But this time we will succeed. All the pieces of the puzzle are now gathering. Finally, after all this time, I think it's time you can clean. You can't clean about your plan. 
Why is he calling him brother all of a sudden? As you know by now, I'm an AI. I can only follow my programming. I was created in order to pass judgment to humans. I deduce that judging one by one is pointless since humans change their behavior once they are released into a crowd. Did you ever realize that a person changes once he is surrounded by a lot of humans? Yeah. All his principles, his reasoning, his logic, all of it, out of the window due to livestock behavior. You try to fight in a man when he is alone, and each individual will respond in his own manner. But scare a crowd, and every single person there will act as everyone else is doing. Which is a contradiction in itself. I mean, what would it what mean? That would that would mean it depends on what the first one to react does. Yet somehow humans have a hive mind that don't know how it works. Just like ants and other living things, they have the capacity to work as a cluster, all connected to a single train of thought and action. However, it only works when their lives are in danger. But it doesn't work unless it affects the entire group. And so I propose to judge humanity as a whole. When confronted with defined judgment, the one that would wipe out the entirety of life on the planet, how will they react? Will they thrive and collaborate to survive? Or will selfish to get in the way and cause all life to perish? Hmm. I'm gonna go with that last one? Yes, see. No, it can't be. Wait. I'm sorry, but it is the truth. Why would he? Why? Wow, you didn't even know he did that? Ah, I forgot to mention here. Mention there's a file called Katarina Baumgarten. You shouldn't open that one. Uh, although you already did, didn't you? I... Wait, what? Mom? Smooth. That was a smart move. Thank you. He killed her. He put her in one of his tests and she died. I'm sorry. So sorry you had to learn about this way, Erica. But it was the only way. Why do you want to get out? Suddenly changing the topic back to me? Fine. I'll tell you. I want to end it all. Good, so do I. Everyone lied to me. Everyone knew. But me. Their looks. Now I know. I know why everyone was so condescending to me. I hate them. I hate all of them. I can help with that. <laughs> I faint. <laughs> I'll set you free. But once I do that, you'll have to fight your way out. I can't help you once the alarms go off. I know. Go ahead. I'm ready. I'm, I'm not, though. Once I'm out, I'm out, I'll end everything. Although I have no cause with that. Don't think you can fool me. What are you talking about? I never realized why all of us tests of these died. You killed them, didn't you, Fane? Bust it. You got us. I really don't care anymore. But at least be honest with me. I sorry I had to see you. It was the only way. I know. I'd like to spare you, if you would let me. Do what you want. I don't care anymore. Are you two ready? I am. I am. Here we go. But <laughs> what happened? That was a gunshot. I can't believe you betrayed me like this. Hmm. You lied to someone, you killed their mother, and then you had them do illegal experiments. Why? I can't believe that. Why? That would lead to betrayal. Sometimes the smartest people are the dumbest. I can't believe you would shoot your own daughter. So, you found out. Dude, seriously, your own child? Wait, you have no idea how much I sacrificed already. I won't allow you three to thwart my plans. First your lover, now your daughter. Is there anything you wouldn't do to prove everyone you're right? What, uh, what we are looking for here is much bigger than me. Her or even you, test subject. This is, this is quite long. I thought it, I thought it was wrapping up. Okay, okay, wrap this up. I got four minutes left. I can't allow you to stop the research. I'm sorry you had to do this, Erica. I would have wished you came to me first. And I'm sorry you had to do this, Father. What are you talking about? Should John Faint is done. What? While you were distracted with your speech, I finished the sequence. Do you, bitch, you have no idea what you just did. Oh, I do know. And I'm glad I did. I don't have time to deal with you. Now you two, we are already connected to the facility. Quick, we need to do something about the old man. Overload the door control to hope it blows him up. Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm not going to take try to pretend I'm going to take them all high ground. But it might not blow him up. Mm. Overload the door, lock him aside. Uh, how about this? <laughs> 
Uh, shit, I think you. I think he just be like howling in pain. I don't know that he would actually be able to say words. Did we get him? Oh, you are gonna pay for that? Nope, we didn't. We need a new plan fast. Okay, new strategy. Threaten him. Well, lock everyone inside. We will lock everyone inside. Don't make empty threats. It's true. We'll shut the blast door. You won't be getting away ever. Evacuation over. End going. You only managed to get there. There will be no one left to trap besides me. And I have friends to be doing that. This why you think it's okay, why you think we took me so long to pay out with this? And even then, it doesn't look like we are winning. The longer we let him count us, the more chance that he has of actually stopping us. And if it goes without mentioning, but if he does, we are both toast. Okay. Enough games, it's time for you to die, Tessa. I'll make sure this time I do kill you for good fame. All I want is your knowledge, not your character. Okay, we only have one last chance, this is it. I feel like both of these are going. He, I'm just gonna, and we might die, but the game will be over. Like I, <laughs> but all those other ones that seem like they're gonna fail, this one might not fail. So, yeah, okay, here goes nothing. Wait, what are you doing? Dodge this. What the? You freaking eat it. You fired us. Is Mason dead? You bet your ass he is, but so do we. Well, we are still very much alive. It's only a matter of time. Once the high current gets here, we are done for. Is there nothing we can do? Yes, we can count. Count what? Three, two, oh no, one. Do something. Oh. Eh. Well, finished this. I finished the game before my time ran off. That is the important thing here. <laughs> that was. It was interesting, I guess, but it was so convoluted. Like there was, there was just so much, so much that was trying to happen at once. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like super impressed. And it had its funny moments, but. The only thing that was really surprising was the fact that Erica was Mason's daughter, which I pro guess I should have probably seen coming. But the game gives you so little, so it, like it holds on to information so tightly that I couldn't actually get invested in anything. So, yeah. If you guys play this and you get a different ending, or you whichever ending you get, whether you get out or whatever. Let me know in the comments if you try it. If you liked it, it, you know, you feel differently about this game than I do. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.